starting it really late today. Didn't really do much today. Had those two tests. They went well, I think. Um, there is currently, and this is probably a great idea, there is currently a weather advisory um, for potentially life-threatening wind chills. It's supposed to be hovering right around, like when the wind blows, right around. But anyway, as I was saying, um, negative 20, negative 30 around there, Fahrenheit, uh, when the wind blows. Um, that's the point when exposed skin starts to freeze and stings really bad. Um, but Emily said that she was craving pretzel m &Ms. Uh, and Valentine's Day is Sunday, and I still haven't gotten her flowers. So I think, <laughs> brilliant idea, because I've been really bored today, and just want to go outside, even though it's cold. I'm going to walk to Price Chopper and get her a flower and some pretzel m &Ms. I have my gloves, a scarf, and a hat, and I think I should be good. Um, I might since it's dark out vlog while I'm going over there. Probably won't, though, because it'll be really cold. I will catch up with you guys when I get back. Side, it's actually not that cold out. It's actually kind of nice, brisk. Um, like, even as an asthmatic, like, I usually, if it's cold, can't breathe. But this is fine. Like, it's nothing. Emily found out that I left, though, that I went on my walk. And now she's coming to get me. Hopefully she'll just meet me at Price Chopper and not get too mad, but I don't know. I like my little adventure. Uh, Emily wanted me to probably stay put, like back there, but I didn't because um, that would have been even colder, at least when I'm moving and warming up. Although, update on the cold and the situation, I can see Price Chopper currently walking on a, about an inch of ice uh, and I can't feel my legs. But it's good, guys. It's nice and brisk. I'm awake. I'm happy. Stay positive, guys. Uh, now I just gotta go get the things. Emily has to clean off her car, so she probably won't get here in time. So I'm gonna get my stuff and probably be back on campus before she's done. So I'm done at Price Chopper. Emily came and got me in her car. Um, I don't know why, but she seems a little bit flustered. No, I'm kidding. She's totally cool with it. Um, she's actually right now looking at stuff in the red box. Um, yeah, so I'm glad she came and got me, though. It was it was kind of cold. I could have definitely walked back, though. It wasn't that bad. I gotta go. She's coming back. Back. Uh, I didn't freeze, and they came and picked me up. Um, I'm good. She loved the rose bush and the chocolate. Um... I'm going to probably end it here tonight. We have um, a movie to watch. It'll be fun. Um, so, just remember guys, you know, whatever happened in your day, stay positive. Uh, continuously improve everything you do. Yeah. Um, be a better person tomorrow than you were today. You know, just, you got this. Stay positive the footage for today and I realized that I never explained why I bought her a rose bush instead of a bouquet of roses. Um, I don't like buying roses or flowers in general that have been cut because they just, they're just gonna die and look ugly and they're not, they don't, especially for Valentine's Day, a, ro a bouquet of roses isn't gonna show somebody, you know, hey, well it does, but to me it doesn't show the person, you know, hey, I really love you. Uh, because it just dies, and you have to watch their symbol of love just wilt in front of you. So I bought her a rose bush um, for our one-year anniversary and Christmas combined. I got her a potted orchid. Um, so yeah, every time there's an occasion to buy flowers for her, I'm going to buy her a potted plant. Um... Yeah, and then by the end of it, she's probably going to have quite a large garden on her windowsill in her dorm. Um, it's kind of funny to watch when she gets a potted plant, because uh, she doesn't quite know what to do with them all in a dorm. But, um, yeah, so that's why I bought her a rose bush instead of roses. So remember, guys, I know I've already said it as I'm going through editing, but just whoever you were today, 
tomorrow wake up with the one intention of trying to be a better you today than you were yesterday. And as always, guys, stay positive.